Greetings. It is I, the Great One Himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, CYNLIBSOC.com on the interwebs. Saturday morning, after the Friday, when I recorded Stating the Obvious, number 200, where I talked about victims. <clears throat> right now, I am a victim of not doing vocal warm-ups, because I haven't been out of bed that long. And I had somebody who had invited me to connect on LinkedIn, so the, the world's most useless social media network. So I went to LinkedIn to connect with this person, no big deal. And <clears throat> as I inevitably do, I started flipping through the section, the people you may know, which is always frightening the way LinkedIn manages to actually pull up these people I know. And I've never done any of this shit, like import my address book into LinkedIn, like many of you do. I never do that with any social media. And yet, somehow or another, through the magic of NSA and corporate spying on the internet, LinkedIn manages to seek out and find people I know. And it's just, it's bizarre. I've talked so much about privacy in the past and internet privacy and how all of this makes it easier. You know, and all, there's these idiots. I did a podcast a while back about something like the internet enable slavery or something like that. You know, and some moron left this thing. You think the internet doesn't make people free? You're an idiot or some shit like that. No, I mean, this is exactly why. Because without even trying, the, the internet, these computer algorithms... And this is LinkedIn's computer algor algorithms. I can't talk yet, obviously. Even with the limited information I've provided to LinkedIn, its algorithms are able to hunt down and find people I do actually know. People that don't even live in Colorado anymore. People that I've had almost no contact with. Yet I know these people. Imagine what the NSA can do. And I know you think that this can never be used against you. Because you have nothing to fear and you have nothing to hide. But that's not really what I'm here to talk about. What I wanted to talk about in, previing, in the previous Stating the Obvious podcast, number 200, The Victim Industrial Complex, I talked about victimhood, and I talked about why having more victims is important. I talked about why the state wants there to be more victims. And I talked about how there are all these people who are going to college to be social workers and all this other shit like that, and how these people need victims in order for them to have jobs. So I'm going on LinkedIn here, and I'm scrolling through the part of people I may know, and I'm seeing people I know and I don't ever want to associate with, and then I'm seeing people that I don't know, that for whatever reason LinkedIn is throwing them at me. But it's an interesting little cross-section. Listen to this job title. Specialized foster care provider at the Matthews house. This person, she gets paid money to be a specialized foster care provider. Now this is a person that if there were no victims, she would be asking people if they would like to supersize that. This is a person who needs victims in order to survive. If there's no victims, what the fuck is she going to do? Oh my God, there's him. That's hilarious. <laughs> there, where's another good one? Where is it? Here we go. This chick is hot. I would fuck the shit out of her. <clears throat> she is the Community Restorative Justice Bilingual Case Coordinator. That's her job title. <clears throat> Let me take a drink of coffee and read that to you again. This girl over here is an arts and crafts professional. That's hilarious. Although an arts and crafts professional is contributing more to the world than somebody who is a community restorative justice bilingual case coordinator. This woman, as fuckable as she might be, is somebody whom, without victims, without children being alcoholics, without men beating their wives, without women being raped, 
without people being mugged, without victims, this woman has no fucking purpose in life. She would be asking you, would you like fries with that? The victim industrial complex, it's huge. And it's important because there's all these people who make their money off of other people being victimized. Whoa, what the fuck did I just do? Here we go. Let me check something out here. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping that the people similar would t turn up more people with... Oh, I see why it sh it's showing her to me because we have somebody in common. I was hoping it would show me more people with wacky job titles like hers. <laughs> okay, this one over here. She's a counseling intern at Maria Drost Services. She's a counseling intern. She's an intern. She's probably not even getting paid. I don't know if it's a paid internship or an unpaid. But again, without a victim, without victims, she has no purpose in life. My God, her. And then there's these people. All right, then I also, I just watched the latest season of South Park on DVD. The latest season has been released. I know it's 17, I think. Yeah, it is 17. The first one where there's only 10 episodes, which pissed me off when I opened the box, and it's like, where the fuck is my third CD, DVD, whatever. Anyway, the, the, South, the South Park. The Game of Thrones trilogy was fucking hilarious, because that's how I feel too. And then when Butters was saying, how come every time we see a penis, either it's homosexual sex or it's flaccid, are women scared of strong penises or whatever? I was like, oh my God, what a great observation. He's totally right about that. But of course, the other thing, the whole thing where they're dragging this out, it's like, when are we going to get the dragons? When are the fucking dragons going to show up? At this point, I'm pretty much watching Game of Thrones because I want to see some fucking dragons. That's all I'm fucking interested in. The drama, I mean, it's I'm starting to lose interest. It's, character, it's just endless character development and drama. And I mean, it's okay, but God damn it, Jon Snow is, is just a giant fucking mangina. And then the little, damn, what's her name? Like, the, the only characters who are cool, I just thought about this. The only characters I really like and care about are the two short people. The dwarf guy, whose name I can't fucking remember. And then the little, the Stark girl, the youngest one. I mean, they're the only two characters that I find interesting. Because, you know, he has to survive by his wits. And so he's trying to outsmart everybody around him. Which is the kind of character I enjoy, because that's the kind of person I am. And then the little Stark girl, she's great because, you know, she's... Oh God, am I going to fucking say this? She's busting gender stereotypes, but she's not doing it by running around screaming about how she's entitled, right? She's doing it by fucking just taking action and making shit happen. And, you know, she's terrified and she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing half the time, and yet she keeps pushing forward. She's what a... She is what feminists think they are. But you notice that as she goes through the story, if you watch Game of Thrones, at no point does she ask for handouts or does she ask Obama to provide her with anything or shit like this. So anyhow, those are the only two characters that I'm really interested in their stories and who they are and what they're doing. The rest of the characters are just there to die as far as I'm concerned. And the sooner they die, the better. Especially King Joffrey. Will somebody please just fucking kill that little piece of shit? My God, he's a piece of shit. Just fucking knife him in the fucking throat and be done with it. <clears throat> Hopefully the dragons will fucking eat him if the dragons ever fucking show up. Anyway, in that season also was the episode about photoshopped pictures, right, with the Kim Kardashian and the photoshopping. As I'm looking on LinkedIn, 
I see this one girl, actually I've seen two of them on here today, who they have their photos on LinkedIn, and I'm just like, what is wrong with you women? You do not look like that. I've seen both of these women in real life. Their skin is not that smooth. They have wrinkles, they are old, they are unattractive. And yet, in their photoshopped LinkedIn pictures, I'm not gonna say they look, well actually one of them doesn't look hot, but she looks normal. She doesn't look like she's 55, let's put it that way. She looks like she's 30 instead of 55, like she actually is. The other one in her photoshopped LinkedIn photo actually looks hot. And the first time I met her in real life, I was like, oh my God, that is what I saw on the internet. There, Because I met her entirely intending to try to have sex with her. And I saw her in real life and it was like, oh God, no. <laughs> no, get it away. <laughs> get it away. <laughs> get it away from me. Oh, it was terrifying. All right, let me scroll down a little bit more. Ah, this chick I know in real life, she's hot. I would fucking do her. <laughs> what does any of this have to do with anarchy? Well, it has to do with anarchy in the sense that we're t I br talked very briefly about the victim industrial complex and how these people need victims in order to survive. I'm scrolling down. I'm looking for more awesome victim titles. Fortunately, not a lot of people who work in the victim industrial complex show up in my LinkedIn stalking thingy, whatever you call this. Oh, here's somebody who's a probation officer. Again, boy, without victims, how could you have a job as a probation officer if there were not victims? You've got to have victims to be a probation officer. Of course, there's also a lot of people who work at Colorado State University who you know, the college industrial complex. There's a fucking giant joke. Okay. Really? Ah, yes. Here's this other person who looks really attractive on the LinkedIn picture, but is very unattractive in real life. It's sad. She's hot. She has no job title, though. La, 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 la. All right, yes, I know, I know. I'm about to run out of steam on this also. God, here's a politician. This chick looks hot. I know she's not that hot in real life. You people are like, we don't care. Are you going to make fun of more? I can't find any more good job titles here my my whatever this thing is called is amazingly free all things considered of people in the in the prison people in the victim industrial complex i suppose the victim industrial complex is an aspect of the prison industrial complex well they work together i shouldn't say it's an aspect i'm a social media strategist god whatever man i'm gonna tell people how to use twitter well you go in on your fucking tweet it ain't that hard people I mean, seriously, if you need to pay somebody to tell you how to use Twitter. Whew. <laughs> All right. All right. We're done here. We're moving on. I'll see you guys next podcast. Bye.